Well, here we are in Office 2007, but it works just as well in the old version of Word. Uh, we've got a proof of Pythagoras theorem all set up here. And uh, I'll just do Control A and then delete and get rid of it and start it all from scratch. OK, uh, for this I need to insert a shape. And I want to insert a triangle and there it goes. So now I want some more triangles like that. And one of the best ways is to press Control and drag because that gives you another one. So Control drag, Control drag, fantastic. OK, now I want to have a look at the rotation tool which is hiding up here but it's all on the drawing toolbar in the old system. So select that one, rotate it once, that's perfect. Select this one and rotate it once and rotate it again. Unfortunately you can't double click and do multiple operations in the new office. Uh, once, twice and three times and I think I shan't bother to do the last one four times. So we're all set. Let's just put this one here uh, and this one here. It's all snapping to the grid which is something you need to get set up as well but that's for another day. Uh, now I just press shift and select all of these and to give it some fill. Uh, maybe that colour will do nicely. Now I just want to do a square around the whole lot. Again it will snap so it can make it easily a square. And fill that with some other colour. That'll do. And then a right click, order, send that to the back. Perfect. So what I want to do now is move this fellow, um, I'm going to move this fellow up to here and this one up to here and that basically does it but uh, I'll just undo those because we haven't really decided whether this is indeed the square on the hypotenuse. Why is that a rectangle? Well it is because if you think about it this angle equals that angle and these two add up to 90 degrees so that is nice but it just needs to be said. Um, whereas if I move this one up to here and this one up to here that's quite a nice couple of translations there and that's slightly more obvious that these two are indeed the sums of the squares on the other two sides. Well sometimes it's quite nice to put them down here then you really do see two separate squares. Um, well if you didn't quite get that don't worry we can just undo and I'm just going to press control and then lots of Z's and pressing Z, 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 Z all the way back to the start and then if I want to redo it I just press control and Y for redo and there we have it up to the finishing point. So there we are, job done. Mm.